Greetings viewers, Eric the Car Guy here, back again with another tool review video for you. And today, today I have something kind of cool. The Wallet Ninja. Yes, this is 18 tools in one, in one thin little piece of metal. Wallet Ninja sent me this tool some time ago, and I've been using it actually for a couple of months now. So I've actually had some time in with this, uh, with this tool. So I, I can actually convey some of my experiences with it. First, it's made out of some pretty tough steel. Uh, it is, like they say, four times heat treated steel, and it's, it, doesn't, it doesn't really bend. So it's not, it's not flimsy, so it, it will hold up. The tools that I found that I used most when trying this tool out were the letter slash box opener. I use that quite a bit, but I do have one, one con as far as the tool goes, and that, and that does involve that box opener. The way this blade is designed, you have to push on things just right in order for it to be an effective cutting tool. I wish they would have brought this cutting edge down around a little bit more so that it would be more effective at, at opening boxes and envelopes because honestly, I used that part of this more than anything else. Uh, as far as the uh, wrenches that are, that are built into it, I have never used any of them, although I have no doubt that they would work. But given the size of the tool and how awkward it would be to use, I don't think I would be reaching for this first thing. If, if this was my only option, I would use it for that purpose. But outside of that, I don't really see much use in the wrench side of things. Uh, the screwdriver side of things, now that, I haven't really used all that much, but I have used it. It was effective. Uh, the bottle opener and a can opener, well, they pretty much work like a bottle opener and a can opener. But it's, it's really, as I said, kind of a novelty. Now, the uh, rulers, Never use those, but it's one of those kind of things where it's there. And if you need it and you try it, great. If not, then you don't. As far as scraping with it, you can use it as a scraping tool. And lastly, the uh, credit card cell phone stand. <laughs> Now that, I had some difficulty getting this, or I seem to have some difficulty getting this thing set up to use as a cell phone stand. And that's one of the things that they put into this, I think because they could. It's up to you whether or not you use it. I don't really find myself sitting there looking at my cell phone or having a need to put it on a stand. But once again, I have it if I need it. Uh, and the only other thing was is, I think it's be cool to just trace around and do stuff with. And lastly, I don't know what these little holes are for here. I, I haven't figured that part of it out, but uh, I'm sure it says there somewhere. But if you really want to be amused, check out, I'll put a link in the description to their video about this. This is a really fun video to watch that they made about this tool. So go there and watch the video and everything else. But if you're looking for like a very inexpensive gift to get somebody, this would be it. This is, if nothing else, the conversation that comes from having something like this alone is great. And TSA approved. They talked about it being TSA approved. Yes, it is TSA approved. I have brought this through actually on several flights that I've done recently. However, I will say, unless you want your bag searched and possibly a strip search, remove it from your bags and put it inside the bin separately. Like just take it out of whatever bag or whatever you're keeping this in and leave it open because TSA will be curious about what this is. They will want to see it. So leave it out where they can get to it so they don't have to dig through your stuff to get it. Just a little tip. So yes, it will go through TSA, but if you keep it in your stuff, they're going to search your stuff for it. Just saying. I like it. I, I think this is just a fun thing to have. I really enjoy having it. I really enjoy using it. And conversation piece. That said, hey, if you have automotive questions, I would ask that you go over to ericthecarguide.com. There's a welcome video there to tell you about all the wonderful things we have at ericthecarguide.com to help you with those automotive issues. If you wish to connect with me socially, I can be found on Google+, Facebook, Twitter, and now Instagram. I post tool reviews every other Wednesday, and I close each of my videos with be safe, have fun, stay dirty. I'll see you next time.